Hey everybody, welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. So today you are just getting me, Jessica. Um, I'm going to show you guys my bullet journal. Mandy really wanted to see this and so we thought that you guys all might want to see it too. Well, I am not an artist by any means. So you're, what you see is what you get here. And I'm not completely finished with it, but I just want to show you everything. Um, obviously on the outside, I have a bunch of stickers. I got several of these from Brie from In Love and Words. She has an Etsy shop. And so I will link her Etsy shop down below because I use quite a few of her stickers in the journal. Um, but then I also got a few of these from authors and um, from orders that I've placed. And so they're they're kind of all over the place here. So I just stuck stickers on the outside. Uh, the journal itself is from Amazon and it was just one of their cheap bullet journals. It's nothing, again, nothing fancy. Um, on the inside, I did the same thing with stickers. Again, a lot of these, like I know this one and this one, this one, I think these little ones, they're also from Brie. So this one is, so yeah, there's a lot from Brie here. Um, so then this is just the opening page, just something that I did. Um, again, not an artist. Uh, a lot of this was scrapbooking paper and things that I had left over from when my kids were little and I was scrapbooking. So no joke, these are like 15 years old. Um, so I can't even tell you where I got them from, but these are die cuts that I had with a kit when the kids were little that I used. And then obviously some washi tape. As far as the pens and stuff that I use, I love these midliner markers. They're from Zebra. I got them off Amazon. I actually went to Michael's today to look and see if they had more and they were like triple the price for that. So they wanted like 50 bucks for that thing. I'm like, you gotta, kidding, gotta be kidding me. Um, but I do love the Zebra brand. Um, and then I also have these ones here too. So these are what I'm using for pens inside my journal. So, um, right here when you flip the page this is our love in seattle page so mandy and i are fortunate enough that we get to go to love in seattle in april seattle is the halfway point between mandy and myself so it takes me about two hours to get there as i drive south and it takes mandy about an hour and a half to two hours to get to where we're going depending on where the event happens as she drives north because she's in the southern part of the state and so we get to go and see all these authors actually yesterday there was like three or four authors that dropped out. So you can see I've already crossed them off, but here's the list of authors that are gonna be there. And then these are the books that I want to read by those authors. I have like a couple pages here before we go. Um, the ones that I have read, I have the stars underneath. I just got these star rating stickers. Last night they arrived from Brie once again. You guys can see I have them here. She has a six star rating one and then the five star. So I just need to color those and I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, but you can see these are the ones that I've already read. I'm so excited we get to see Elsie Silver. Um, but Chantel here is one that dropped out, which really makes me upset. So I've crossed off the ones that I don't need to read between now and April and those are all in there. This is my pre-order page. As you can see, I left a few blank because I know I've placed a couple more pre-orders than what is here, um, but I can't remember who it is. And then they don't actually send us the invoices until March typically is when the authors will send the invoice just before the event. And so once I get those invoices and pay for everything, then I can put them in here and then um, I will know who I need to for sure stop by and see and pick up books. It's not like I'm not gonna stop by and see them. I just don't wanna forget the books that I pre-ordered. So those will be there. Um, and then I wanted to leave this page blank in case, in case I need to put more books in here. Um, and or in case I have more pre-orders than what I'm thinking because the pre-orders have been done for months now so I could have made more than four I'm just saying I don't remember what I did um, but here's our VIP schedule um, for Mandy and I so we know where we're gonna be and what's going on there's not a lot going on at this event compared to the one in Vegas but still having the schedule in one spot is nice and then speaking of Vegas so here is the love in Vegas event that is happening at the end of October in Las Vegas and so Mandy and I are going to go to that one as well so I did the same thing printed out the author list um I will put pre-orders here this is still just done in pencil I need to like decorate it and stuff but you know it's still a little ways out I don't want to jump the gun here um and then this is the VIP agenda and I'll put our flight info and that kind of stuff in there as well when the time comes and then these blank pages will be for my pre-orders and for the books that I want to read um, right here, I have my star rating. It's nothing fancy yet again. It's just my start. You know, if I enjoy the book, 
a lot and I want to reread it over and over again, it typically gets a five if I enjoy it to where I want it. If there's ever an apocalypse, then it gets a six. And basically that's it. My star rating is pretty simple, but I did want to have it in here. And then we have my reading to zero challenge. So this was just a blank page that I wanted to decorate. But I saw somebody else when I was doing the research for this bullet journal to try to help keep myself a little more organized. I um, came across somebody who had a video from a couple of years ago. So I watched so many videos, I cannot remember who, but there was someone here um, on YouTube who had done this reading to zero challenge. So what this is, is these are all the books that are on my Kindle that I own that I've never read. So some of them I got for free um, during the holidays when Amazon does their, um, their free books. And some of them I've paid for. And so I need to read them. Like I just get distracted because I'll buy one and I'll be like, oh, this is awesome. And then I want to read it. And then something else will come along and I don't read it. So these are the books that I want to read this year. They're literally, they're, there's a lot. There's really a lot. But you can see the ones that I've read. I did kind of color in some of the stars last night. Um, and so that is my reading to zero challenge. There should be no judging for all the, <laughs> all the uh, stickers or all the books here. Um, so then I have the flags here where I can color in as I go, which I do need to color a couple of them in, but I haven't done that yet. But this is just my, my tracker for that. Um, I actually have more books than this, but we're not gonna discuss that. Um, so if you guys want to know how to make these stickers, let me know then I, and I can do a tutorial um, on how to do these. These are very simple. Basically all you need is Google Docs, um, some sticker paper that you can get off Amazon and um, Goodreads and, and that's, that's and a printer. That's all you need. Um, so I can tell you, so comment below if you want me to tell you how to do those, but they're so simple. I love doing them. Um, and then on this page here, I have my monthly and annual reading stats. So I'm very competitive with myself. I figured this out about 10 years ago when I started my own business, I compete against myself all the time. So you can see here, I have by the month, I have how many books that I've read in each individual year. I started really reading in um, February of 2020, where I started keeping track. And so that's, you guys can see, so I can see that between, um, you know, January of 21, 22, and then this year, I actually read less than I read, read in the past couple of years. Um, I know why, I like we've said before, I had a huge project due at work and I know that that's why I read less th in those months or in this, this past month, but it's kind of fun to keep track. Um, and you can also see the ones that have the little yellow squares um, are the months that I had surgery or I was in the hospital. And if you've watched any of our videos, you've probably heard me talk about the fact that I have the BRCA2 um, breast cancer gene. And so that was discovered somewhere around here. And then you can see all the surgery started. But I do that because I always, I'm always like, oh yeah, I can get so many books read when I have surgery. And then um, it doesn't happen because I'm sleeping. So, you know, I have this, uh, maybe it's the drugs. I just don't remember what I, what I think happens and what actually happens are two different things. Um, and then we go into January. So here's where I start tracking. I mean, I have some blank pages in here because I'm afraid I forgot some things. So just in case, I left them in there um, and because I had a list of things I wanted to put in here and I could have easily forgotten uh, a couple of things. So I just want to leave that blank. Um, so then here's my January reads and you can see I still need to color in my star ratings on the books. Um, again, because I just got the stars last night. But this is all the books that I read in January and I'll put my star ratings there. And then this is my top five books of January. These are the videos that Mandy and I made and uploaded to YouTube in the month of January um, that was not our weekly wrap up. And then um, I don't know what I was gonna put on this page. So we're probably just gonna end up decorating it because it's left blank. And then I will actually show you what that is somewhere else because I have this, this, this page somewhere else. Um, so this is, then we get into February and you can see the same thing. So this is where I, how many books I've read so far in February. Um, as you can see, we are very early on in February still. And so I'm going to probably need to erase, this is all still done in pencil and put more books on this side as the month goes. I couldn't remember what I did this for anyway, so it's okay. So again, you can see that we've got the, the books that Mandy and, or the videos that Mandy and I have up uploaded 
Um, we'll put our top five reads of February, my top five reads of February will go in here, and then the number of books that I've read. And then on this page, I still need to finish decorating it, but this is basically for my family and my everyday life. If I have it in this journal or in this planner, then or it's a journal, but if I have it in here, then I'm gonna have it whenever I need it because this is always with me. So I have a child that has an autoimmune disorder that we're still in the process of figuring out what's going on with her, but she has new medications here that I wanna, you know, everybody's, I'm always getting asked what medication she's on. So that's here. Um, I have, you know, does she have any new symptoms this month? Does she have any flare-ups? How bad are they? Doctor's appointments, birthdays, my grandparents are the only people that had an anniversary this year or this month. And then, um, you know, special dates. And then I have like my total work hours and my expenses and stuff. I have to keep track of this because, uh, as you guys have heard me say, I am self-employed. Um, and then we get into March and then we just kind of do the whole thing over again for every month. Um, that one's sticking together, but for, for each month that is in there. And then if I go back here, um, that was November. Let's go back here. Okay, so right here. So then at the end of the year, this is my Goodreads, Goodreads stats. Um, you know how at the end of the year, Goodreads will give you your stats and tell you if you met your challenge and all that good stuff. So this is the same thing that you get off Goodreads. So you have your shortest book, your longest book, your average page length, um, how many books you read out of however many books you wanted to read, that kind of thing. So you can see that I will put that in there at the end of the year. And then this is my Goodreads challenge, my personal challenge. I actually need to color that one in. But um, as I go, I'm going to color these in. Now, last year I read 550 books. Um, I highly doubt I will hit this number down here. That's just how many little hexagon things that I had. And so I color, I just put that one down in there. If I read this, or read 800 books this year, it will be an absolute miracle. That is a lot of books. But I fully intend to get somewhere in here. So we'll see what happens there. Um, and then this right here is my books I want in the apocalypse. So when I read a book that I label as a six star, but it is one of those books that I know I can read over and over again, and I want to own the book, like um, The Devil of Dublin is one that I've read this year that I absolutely loved and had to run out and buy the book. It actually needs a square in here. So books that I read this month or this year that are the books I want in the apocalypse. Like I want to throw them in our camper trailer and run away with them. That is what I will put in here. Um, and then I have a separate page, a second page, just in case I need more. So then this is our YouTube subscribers and our goals and our giveaways. Um, there, we are doing a giveaway when we hit 100 subscribers. We're doing the Candy Steiner book that was in the Bell Book Box. And there's more information on that on our unboxing video that we posted a few days just before this video goes up. And you guys can find out all about that. But once we hit 100 subscribers, we're going to be giving that away as well as other things. Um, and so th that's where I'm keeping track of that. And then this is my book wish list, the books that I want to actually purchase um, as I read books that I'm falling in love with. And then this, because I, I only buy books if I absolutely love them after I've read them. I just don't have the room to have a huge library in my house. Um, I have, you know, three teenage kids. They take up a lot of room. So this is the subscription boxes then that I have. So this is the K Club. This is um, K Webster. This is her group. This is her monthly club. And so every month we get a, um, we get an ebook from her. And then we also get arcs. So like earlier this week at the end of last week, I got the Tangle of Awful, which is, I'm loving it. Loved it. Loved it so much. Um, and so I got the arc of that. But in January, we got Cold Queen. This month it was El Malo. I honestly already own those books. So it wasn't that great for me, but eventually... It'll be good when I get some that she hasn't, that I don't own of hers. Then we have the Arcane Society box over here. So we, January was Stacey Marie Brown and I already got her books. So I marked those off because that one's bi-monthly. Then you have my Mystic box um, stuff information here. And then cover to cover book box, which is one that I just signed up for. So we'll see how that one goes. Then I have a camping page because we go camping a lot. And so if I have this in here, then I know of our camping dates and stuff. And these are like our favorite places the kids' favorite places to camp where they want to go this summer. And then this is the um, camping spots in one of our favorite campgrounds that we love to go to. Now, this one is all of the anticipated reads I have for this year. So as I find out about those, I will put them in here. Um, I read a lot of indie authors, so it's really hard to know ahead of time when books are going to be dropped. Like, we can have a general idea, 
but we don't always know. So like I know that I think in October is when the next um, Jennifer L. Armatrout book is coming out in the um, Blood and Ash series. I didn't write that one in here yet. But I also know like that Cora Riley is putting out another book and it's a new one and she's teasing it. But I'm thinking it'll be March or April, but we, I don't know for sure. So like when I have those for sure dates, then I will put them in here so that I'm aware. Uh, top reads of 2023. So um, at the end of the year, this is where my top 10 books will go for the year. And then Mandy and I'll make a video on that. And then this one is the Read the Tropes Challenge. So um, Brie from In Love and Words makes these trope stickers you guys can see those I pulled them up um and they're awesome and they're supposed to go you know like in your reading journal when you read the book and you can just put all the trope stickers next to it I actually uh saw that um Jen from the book refuge did this little read the tropes challenge and I thought it was so smart that I had to borrow it from her and so um, this is like all the trope stickers that I have and there's a few more that I haven't gotten from her but these are all the tropes and then as I read the tropes you read a book that has that trope in it that I write it, write it in there. And you guys can see that already, I mean, we're in February. So I'll probably fill this up pretty fast and maybe I'll just do a second one, I'm not sure. And then these are the author backlists that I want to read. So um, any authors that I want to go back and read their backlist, I'm almost done with Pam Godwin. Um, and that is what is in here. And this one I need to fill out for Debbie Perry. Still. And then my favorite quotes from books of 2023 will go from here. And then that's all that I have. So um, that is all that I have in this book. There should be enough to actually do use this next year, but we'll see if I do. I might just buy another, another journal next year. So that is my bullet journal for the year, my reading journal. So um, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I use. Like I said, a lot of mine were just floating around the house. And I will definitely remember to link... Uh, Brie from In Love and Words down below her um, Etsy shop so you guys can get those stickers if you want to do that. And then again, let me know if you want me to make a video on how I do these stickers. And so thanks for joining us. And until next time, go read.